You right there, my lover? We're back with another video. Let's get into it. Hey, y'all. Uh, this is a bit different than what I usually do, but I wanted to jump right into it. This is all about TikTok, how the TikTok game works, how I have gained some success on TikTok, and what you guys can do to get the success on TikTok that you've always looked for. And before we get into it, hey, is this guy even real? Like, who, who is this guy? I've never seen him. This guy's not Charlie D'Amelio. This guy's not, you know, this guy's not uh, another popular guy from TikTok. Nice. This this hopefully shows you I'm not like weirdo who's like I have a thousand followers and this is how you get a thousand followers no I want to show you how to get in the algorithm although it's very random and weird and what to do to get to that step so let's get right into it Consistency. Be consistent. That's the first thing, and I learned the hard way. Um, how I got my first bit of success was earlier on in 2020. I started to do this thing with my fiance. Uh, there was a show out called TLC 90 Day Fiance. It was a trend at the time. This guy named Big Ed, who didn't have a neck. You're my best view. Mm. I did a video with my fiance. This is when I just got TikTok, and I looked at her before I posted it. And I said, This is either going to get millions of views or nobody's going to watch it. And you know what happened? It did really well. You don't have to be this hilarious person and you don't have to be the most beautiful person to hit it on the algorithm with something. A lot of times I post things that I don't even find funny and they're the things that usually do really well. So be consistent. I posted that earlier on in 2020, probably March, and then I just stopped posting and I had a bit of traction there. Yeah, everybody was focused on that one thing that I did, but I just stopped posting. So never stop posting. Post as many times, post three, four, five, six times a day if you want to. It's actually good to do that. Number two. Number two. Be different, but also don't. Fish, what? I know that's very vague. Be different in your approach to things, but when you see people do stuff, what I've realized, I don't do this personally because it goes against what I learned in school and, and <laughs> my morals. No, that's a joke. I uh, respect other people's creative side, but I've noticed on TikTok, if you see something that you think is very, very funny, you can literally copy it but put your own little spin on it, but make sure to tag the person who originally did it. And sometimes those videos take off bigger than the actual person who you were like, that's a really funny video. You do it and the algorithm will pick up your one. So don't be afraid to copy. Wait a minute. In a way, and I'm nervous to say that, but don't be afraid to copy, CC them, make sure they get credit, and also try and make a bit of a twist to it. Don't just verbatim do what they're doing because that's not something that's cool and you will get called out and I have a bit of hate for that, so just be careful with that. Number three. Please have a dream, my lord. Sound, okay? This is important, sound and lighting. We're just gonna combine that into two. Make sure your sound is okay and make sure your lighting is okay. They're the fundamentals for everything, YouTube, everything. TikTok is no different to an extent. Sometimes you can get away with some grainy stuff if it's like a silly video, but people wanna see your face and see exactly what you're doing. So that is something to definitely keep in your mind while you're doing it. And to roll off that sound as well, uh, music is a big part of TikTok. Always look what song is trending. You'll see it when you go to the For You page or when you're posting a video, you can press sounds and you'll see what's viral, what's hot right now. So hot right now. Use those, even if your video doesn't need sound or sound doesn't match your video, put it on your video, turn the volume of the sound all the way down so it's not even there, and then the algorithm will pick that up. They'll say, okay, this guy's doing a trend right now. He's got the sound on it. They don't know if the sound's actually on it or if you're doing the dancing trend. If you're doing the, you know, Stop it. That's why I'm not successful in the dancing category of things because I look like a drunk mom dancing. So that's why I don't do that. Number four. This one is important. Hashtags. Hashtag. Hashtag. Get some help. Some people say don't put hashtags. Some people do. I find hashtags are important, but they're not as big as Instagram and tags on YouTube and stuff like that. Obviously, put a for you. FYP for you page. That's a really big thing to always put in there. No matter what, I do it on every single video I do. Some hit big, some don't. You'll always see a, a trending hashtag on TikTok. Put one of them on there. I don't put, a, sometimes people put a few of them. Just try to put one of them and then do maybe three or four what's relatable to your video. If you're doing something about dancing, you don't want to be hashtag driving, hashtag, like, because then it's just going to get lost. The algorithm might bring it to driving TikTok and people will be like, what the hell, why is this guy wearing a bra and doing a dance when I'm trying to look at cars? Number five, do lives. 
even if one person is there or nobody's there. After you've posted a video, go on live. I have over 90,000 followers on TikTok. Humble brag. Oh! Some people have hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Some people have millions. I'm growing slowly and I just learned this thing about going live, interacting with your audience on TikTok. It does work. People are more excited to see your video, to share it. So anytime you post a video, if you can, try going live or going live once a day if you can or once every other day. Be engaging. That goes with the last point, going on live. Responding to your comments, again, that helps big time. People will feel engaged, people will be like, oh, this guy's responding to me, even though he did a video that blew up. You would be surprised how far that goes. I, I'm learning that as well. I was terrible at it at the start, but now I'm trying to hone that. Um, as I said, I took a big hiatus from uh, TikTok from probably August till January. And I started posting again in January. In a month and a half, I've gained 30,000 followers on TikTok by just doing these things that I'm telling you right now. Um, and it doesn't have to be the craziest thing. You'll see some people who post stuff, they don't even have hashtags, they don't have anything. It's a very silly video and the algorithm will randomly pick it up. So don't be discouraged. The amount that you post is what's key. They want people to keep coming back to the app, keep seeing it. If you post a video, it gets some likes and comments. Even wait a little bit and then comment in a few hours after, like reply to the comments. That way it's pulling the user back to the TikTok app. The algorithm likes that from what I've seen. And then you go forward. So these are tips that I am going by that are working for myself. Just be a little careful on the filters. That's something that's kind of annoying. It irritates me. Maybe I'm just an old man. Little weird filters that you put on, little blinky stuff. It takes away from the video. Don't go overboard on that. I know it seems fun at the start, but we're not middle-aged mums figuring out a new app. So just stay away from the weird filters, unless it adds value to your video. Number six, and this is the last one I wanna give you. Just literally be yourself, as corny as that seems whether it be a vlog you want to put up. I'm seeing a lot of one minute vlogs going up in your day. Even if you don't think you're interesting, somebody will find that you're interesting. Even if you're doing nothing, okay? Somebody will find that you're interesting. People are nosy. I'm nosy. I would, I'd love to see what my next door neighbor's doing. If he was doing a vlog, I would probably watch it. And trends, always be looking at the trend page and put a spin to it. Like I said at the start, if you see something that's hilarious, you want to copy it, make sure you CC the person and put your own little spin on it. <laughs> I got one more bonus one. This one I've just realized recently. POV, point of view. People love relatability. Duh. People love point of view, thinking through their eyes. That is something that works. So think of what's relatable with moms, dads, family members, what you see them all over the place, what teachers do. Even if you think, oh, that's not that funny if I do that, do it because I'm sure you'll surprise yourself. Best thing I can give you is just put it out there. Put five, 10 videos a day out there. Even if they're hilarious, you'll see some people that have zero talent. They're posting consistently. I saw a woman on TikTok that has over a million followers. She's probably in her 60s. She films herself and she doesn't realize that she's filming only 15 seconds. So halfway through, it just cuts out. Yet people love it because she's posting six, seven times a day. Some videos get four, 500,000 views. Some videos get 200 views. So you just keep posting. Get to it guys, I know you'll grow. It takes some time or it can happen overnight. I got over a million views in a night on one of my TikToks. So it can happen. Don't think, oh, there's no way I can do it. You can do it, okay? Do it! Do it! Please subscribe to my channel, by the way, if you did like this video and you find it informative. I may do some more how-tos and what will help you out from what I've learned so far as a small content creator, but I'm hoping to grow and hopefully you join along with me and hopefully you like some of the comedy and vlogs and all the other stuff on my channel. This is gonna be a nice little separate part for anybody who wants to start and has some questions. If you have any other questions, write them down in the comments. I'll get back to them. Let's start TikToking, girl! Oh, I'm 27. I don't know why I did that. Mm.